All right, hey everybody, what's up? It's Teacher Hilton here, and today I'm gonna share a video about the latest updates with Zoom. Let's check it out. All right, so one of the latest features that actually came out a while ago, um, probably about two months ago, was the reactions. Um, now this is a really cool feature if you're doing one-on-one -on -one lessons or even if you're in a group lesson and uh, you want to just give like a little reaction like a thumbs up or a hand clap. Now at the bottom over here you've got the tool. It even says reactions. Now it only works for me. I haven't figured out how to do it when I'm sharing the screen on the, the whiteboard or something like that. But it only works for me when I'm big like this face-to-face uh, -face with the student. So if I go over here and ch just click on reactions You've got a hand clap which goes at the top of the corner over there, you can see it. And then um, you've also got a thumbs up. Now, I don't really use the, the hand claps or the thumbs up um, in my classes. I actually have sound effects. So whenever the student does something right, I've got a sound effect that plays and uh, that's good enough for me or I just do my thumbs up. I, so it, I don't really need it. Um, but it's a cool feature to have if, um, you know, just to make it a little bit more interactive, especially if you're not using a green screen like me, if you've just got a plain background, a thumbs up or, or a clapping hand, you know, will kind of excite the younger learner a little bit more. So the coolest thing that I wanted to show you about the latest update is this. Can you see how cool this is? Ta -da! Ta -da! <laughs> All right, here it is guys. Check it out. All right, so over here I have my green screen behind me, which is just a piece of cloth for some of you wondering You don't have to go out and be fancy and buy like a, a really expensive uh, green screen you Just go over to a fabric store buy some green cloth uh, And that's exactly what I did and it does the trick with the green screen you can do your virtual background. We all know that. It's been around for a long time. But, however, the latest update gives you the ability to put a video instead of a plain background. How cool is that? Game changer. So check this out. I'm going to go through a couple of ones that you can use, and I'm going to give you a website that you can download some stock videos to. So a few things to remember when selecting a video background, or even a virtual background picture. You've got to be aware that if you're teaching young learners, it's got to be appropriate towards them. If you're teaching adults, it's got to be appropriate to them. You don't want to have like ABC behind you and then you're teaching um, some adults business English or something like that. All right. So make sure that the background relates to the level of the student and it's appropriate. So the question is, where do you find the setting? Well, it's always been there except it was always add an image rather than add an image and a video. So you go to your virtual background settings, which can be located by your camera. Just choose a virtual background and there we go. You have your different settings. Now, as you can see at the top here, we've got the two videos. And if you click this add, it used to just be add an image. Now it says add image and add video. So if you go there, you can find your video located on your computer and boom, there you go. You got your image at the top. So none of this because come on. All right. I'm teaching five year olds, six year olds, seven year olds. Yeah, I want to be at the pool teaching and I want to make it cool. But also like look how big her legs are. OK, that just doesn't make sense. Right. So if you want to be realistic, get some smaller legs in the picture, in the video, not something like this. And this is not appropriate. All right. Don't use quick moving backgrounds with lots of fast activity. All right. Although I'm very energetic in my lessons and I'm jumping and I'm moving here and I'm grabbing things, um, that's fine because this, the student is focused on you. But when they're when you're talking to them, if you've got all this going on, craziness. Okay, it's just gonna make you get sick and you're gonna feel dizzy and you'll probably get motion sickness just looking at yourself. All right. So avoid this. Definitely avoid this. Lots of bright flashing lights. You don't want anyone to have a seizure, an epileptic fit. Stay away from the bright flashing lights. Stick with something a little more subtle. Psychedelics may be cool to us, but not for young learners. Stay away from the psychedelic stuff 
like this. Creating an image that you're on a train, hanging out the window, teaching the student, cool, but not realistic. And it's a little bit too quick moving. So probably avoid this. Clouds like this may be cool, but once again, they're moving a little bit too fast. You want to stick with something that's a little bit slower. You don't want to give the impression that you're suddenly falling through the sky. Whew. Something like this is a little bit better. Moving slow, the student's attention is still on you. For probably the first three, four minutes, they may be asking questions about why the clouds are moving behind you. Uh, and they might ask if you are really somewhere with that background. But this is perfect something like this, slow moving, and it still keeps the attention on the teacher. The latest Zoom update comes with two free backgrounds. This one over here, showing the Northern Lights, which is really cool. I actually use this one the most. Then I jump to this one when I'm missing the beach or when I wanna create that tropical ambience. Since I live in Thailand, this is what I wanna show. For me, I'm gonna stick with images like this. Why? Because there's not a lot of movement except for things like the water or the elements within the video background. So I think something like this is perfect. If you guys want to look for a lot of different images, you can head over to the website, which I'm going to show right now. Head over here to pexels.com, P-E-X-E-L-S. Pexels, not pixels, pexels with an E. Pexels.com, you can type in anything you want over here. If you type in something like colorful, for example, it will, um, come to all these different photos. It's got lots of stock images. And then at the top here, you can search for videos or you can have fun with something like this. Sophia, what do you see? Are they real? Are they real? Oh, are they gonna come? You gotta shoot them. Quick, 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 shoot them. Ah!